Hello and welcome to the review of the LEGO Polybag, LEGO Batman Movie Polybag set uh, 5004928 uh, Kiss Kiss Tuxedo Batman. Uh, so looking at information online, looking at the brickfan.com, that uh, Cinema Connection members can get the keychain for free when you see the LEGO Batman movie in real D3D uh, when the movie starts. And um, yeah, Cinemark is somewhat regional and locations are few and far between, blah 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 blah. So it's sort of like a USA thing. And I I, uh, I didn't get this on eBay or anything, which uh, is probably one of the ways that you can get it, is via eBay. And uh, I got this at uh, one of the Hong Kong uh, Inns Point shops, which um, they probably got it from eBay or some other supplier and whatnot. And, uh, but when I got it, the price I paid for was slightly lower than some of the eBay prices, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, and as of right now, this figure, the exclusive part is the suit and the pants. And um, the head is technically exclusive, but uh, not really that important. <laughs> I'll explain that momentarily. So yeah, just a very simple poly bag is good look at the back. And um, gee, thanks LEGO for again limiting figures from a lot of LEGO fans who want to get their hands on this, as well as kids who probably won't ever get a chance on getting one of these. Uh, because your main audience is kids, right? Yeah, keep keep telling yourself that, Lego. So here he is. He has the standard Lego chain thing here, as well as the Lego keychain plate that has the Lego logo on it. Um, yeah, and um, he's got the standard articulation as a Lego figure, except that his uh, pants are glued to the torso, and the torso and the head is sort of plugged. The chain goes all the way through the neck down into the torso. Now this head, uh, the reason why I say he's kind of exclusive is because if I rotate this all the way around, there's actually a single sided head. There's nothing on the back. Uh, so that's why it's technically exclusive. Uh, even though the actual print is not, you know, this head print is very standard compared to uh, some of the other LEGO Batman heads you can get from the regular sets. So that's not exclusive. The exclusive is because he doesn't have a secondary print. So, uh, yeah, so I guess if you were to get some brass or something or scratch off the paint on one of the regular heads, you can get this head. So, hooray. Uh, the body itself is exclusive. Um, I haven't seen this body anywhere else. I don't think this body exists anywhere else. It's a standard suit print. Um, in fact, it's very similar to the Bruce Wayne suit. Yep, here's a Bruce Wayne suit. Very, very similar. Not quite the same. And uh, some of the other suits, I think, have showed up that are similar. Um, let's see. Does the golden bat suit look similar? Yep. You just get the gold bat suit from the bat cave for comparison. Here you go. Uh, but it's again, it's not quite the same. It's just sort of similar. Just sort of. So there you go. It is exclusive. It has um, some arm and side leg printing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, for you know, exclusive figure, you want it to be a little bit special. So it's nice that it has these prints going on. And on the back there, you can see it has back body prints with small uh, kisses and stuff. So yeah, um, in due time, I will get a, a soldering iron to remove the chain. And uh, when you do that, the best way to remove these chains is just stick a solder soldering iron in this hole, the second hole, not this one, because that might burn the ears and stuff and melt it. So you want to stick it in this hole. Uh, angle this chain just sideways enough so it's not touching the ears. You really don't want any of those bits to touch the ears. And uh, make sure you have a high powered soldering iron so uh, you're not just stuck holding it for ages. Uh, I have a battery powered soldering iron because I don't really want a super plug in war soldering iron. Sometimes when the battery runs out a little bit, it's not quite hot enough to pull the whole thing out. So uh, I, need, I need to make sure I put in the right enough batteries and stuff. So I usually stick it in the second hole there, the heat transfers down and pull it up. And once this comes out, you need to pull the head and hat off instantly or else the plastic will get stuck and the head will get stuck on there. So you're gonna have to either melt the chain back in and try to remelt the insides of the plastic. You don't want to do that. So uh, always put uh, obviously wear goggles or something or some gloves just to be safe if you're a kid get an adult to do it don't do it yourself uh, get a careful adult to do it don't get a clumsy adult to do it and uh, you, you want to have I usually have one like finger in the big chain here pulling against it one hand holding this um, with um, the uh, actually no I usually hold it like this I have the soldering iron stuck in there and just pull against it like that while the soldering iron is sort of pulling against this chain and hopefully it's hot enough and the whole thing will just pull out and then I 
Uh, but be careful, uh, I quickly try to get the head off. And um, have a towel next to you if you're not wearing gloves, because um, the plastic itself gets quite hot as well. So you just want to get a towel, put, put the towel, wrap it around the head, pull it off uh, before it gets stuck to the torso. So that's how you get the chain off if you want to do that. And that's what I'm going to do, and then stick him along with the other bat suits on the bat cave suit rotating piece that they have. Yeah. So yeah, a pretty nice figure. Uh, for exclusive and slightly rare figure, it is very nicely done. It, you know, it does it does feel special enough to be an exclusive figure, um, but uh, doesn't, but not necessarily essential to be such a rare figure. So I'm glad this is not essential suit. Um, so yeah, subscribe to Justin Card below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. See you guys same bad time, same bad channel, maybe.